Right, so what I'm going to do is just start off, going to put it into equal aspect mode. And I think I want a bit better of a scale. I want, I want it a little bit bigger, I feel, but I'll, I'll do that in a moment. Let's just put a square on somewhere or a triangle. So I'm going to get three coordinates. I'll have one there, one there, and one there. And I'm just going to make a basic right angle triangle out of that. So you've noticed I've put one on a little bit wrong there. Now, yesterday when we were selecting them, you could just select one, select two, select three. There is a quicker way of selecting if you, want, if you just want all points selected. You can go through edit and select all points. That's one way of doing it. But another way is to just drag across all the, all the points. So if you click down, left click down, drag across all three, it will select them for you. Through the object menu now, as I want to actually create a shape, I'm going to say group those three to a shape. Let's make myself a nice little triangle there. Any of those points I didn't particularly like, like this one here at the top, I can just sort of tweak it into place or move it up there, turn it into a different shape triangle or have it down here, but I'm quite happy with that. If you're on snap to one grid, then of course I can move it a lot neater. But we'll stick on the 0.1. Right, so what am I going to go through? So I'm going to transform this particular shape now. And I'm going to do the transformations, all the four basic transformations. So the translations, the enlargements, the rotations, the reflections. And the kind of way that I would do it with students is I would say, well, name me a transformation that you know about. And they'll come up with something like reflection. OK, okay we'll do reflection. Um, OK, I'm going to reflect that triangle. And they'll say, well, I'll say, go on. Go on, go and reflect it for me. And hopefully, they'll say, well, where? Where do you want it reflecting? I say, well, I don't know, you tell me. What, what do you want? What do you want it reflecting? To? I'll tell you what, reflect it in the y-axis. Well, Autograph will do that for you. In fact, it's already got two object lines on. It's already got the y and x-axis on there for you. You select your shape and right-click, select your object menu, you'll get everything you can do with that shape. So, I wanted it reflecting in the y-axis. There you go, it's been reflected. If I now move my original shape and get hold of it, that will also change with it. So, if I didn't want it in the original place and put it there, that's fine, it's there. Now, some of the uh, student may come along and say, well, I don't want it reflecting in the y-axis or even the x-axis. I want it in the line y equals 1 or x equals 1. So we've got to tell autograph, reflect in the line, say, x equals 1, which means I have to put that line on. It's only got the, the y and x-axis at the moment, so I've got to put in the equation x equals 1. Now remember, there's lots of ways you can do it. You can go through equation, you can go through that button, but I say my favourite one, because I've usually got this open, is to just hit the return key, and it will put it up for you. So we'll just put in x equals 1. There we go. And it'll stick the line in for you. So I think we'll just hide that one for the moment. Okay, so that was selecting the actual pink triangle, right clicking and then hide. So we've just taken it away so we can't see it. If I now want to reflect that triangle in the line, I'm going to have to tell Autograph, use that line. Don't use the x-axis, don't use the y-axis, just use the line. So I'm going to select the shape because that's what I want to reflect. And I'm going to select the line as well. So it's telling it there's, there's two objects there that need to be dealt with. Notice when you right click now, you just get the, uh, the um, reflection action open. So when you press reflection now, it will do it in the line that you want. Okay? And like before, you can get it and move it around. And you can have you know, y equals 2, y equals 3, or any line you like there. But the point is, the students have to know that a reflection is part of knowing what the equation of the line is as well. And that's what Autograph has to know, that's what the students have to know. So it, it's a two-way process. Whoever Autograph has to know how to do it, the students have to know how to do it as well. So that's just reflection for you, that's nice and straightforward.